For today's recipe, it is going to be a um, variation to the classic Thai milk tea that are already in my books, All Things Milk Tea. Now in this book, there are a few ways that you can make your Thai milk tea. Thai milk tea is perfect on its own, but well, you can always make it better or taste a little bit more different. So today, I am going to show you Thai milk tea using salted caramel sauce and also making it a macchiato style. I'm going to call it Salted Caramel Thai Milk Tea Macchiato. I am going to show you how to make it in three sizes, 12 ounces, 16 ounces, and 22 ounces. For the ingredients, I'm going to use my special blend of Thai tea. I have here my brewed Thai tea. The brewing process will depend on what equipment or what gadget you have. So you can use the espresso machine, you can use the mocha pot, you can use a tea soft strainer, you can use a French press. If you haven't yet seen my video tutorials on how to make Thai tea or brewing Thai tea, you can check the link above. So this is my brewed tea, very strong, very aromatic. And we also need my milk syrup. My milk syrup is a combination of condensed milk and evaporated milk. Now for this I am using one is to one because um, I don't want it to be too sweet because I'm going to add salted caramel. Now this salted caramel is also homemade. This is um, not homemade. Well, I just mix it using evaporated milk and condensed milk. We are going to use some milk because this is going to be macchiato style. I'm going to put some foam. So we're going to use fresh milk. Before we prepare our drinks, let's make our milk foam because I'd like it to set. So fill the pitcher up to the bottom of the spout. Then I'm going to use my electric milk froster to froth the milk. And we are going to pop this in the fridge to let it stabilize. Let's start by preparing our drink for 12 ounces. Brew tea, 4 ounces or 120 ml. 1 ounce of milk syrup. If you're using condensed and evaporated, so that is 15 ml of condensed and 15 ml of evaporated milk. Half an ounce or 15 ml of salted caramel sauce. You can also use salted caramel syrup if that's what you have. But salted caramel sauce will help in making it creamier and also you can use it as a topping for your macchiato. So this is the mix for 12 ounces. Let's make our 16 ounces cup. For this, we need 5 ounces or 150 ml of brewed tea, 45 ml or 1.5 ounce of milk syrup. I'm going to use the same amount of salted caramel, half an ounce, across the board because this is just used to flavor the drink. And this is our salted caramel Thai milk tea mix for 16 ounces. So set this aside and our final drink, it is for 22 ounces. For this we need 200 ml of brewed tea. So I made exact amount here. And then I'm going to add 60 ml or two ounces of the milk syrup. This shouldn't be sweet because we're only using half, half and half. You can also use half and half for this one. So that's two ounces. And finally, half an ounce of salted caramel sauce. So there you go. Thai milk tea mix. So now it's time to put them into our cups. I'm going to try the biggest one, which is the 22 ounces. So what you're aiming for here is that very thick milk foam, which is the macchiato style. 
and the taste should give you that hint of salted caramel. It actually combines very well with Thai milk tea, so this is something that you should try or you should give as a special treat for maybe flavor of the month if you are offering Thai milk tea in your shops. Okay? Mm. And it is tasting good. Perfect. If you have any questions about these recipes, do let me know. Comment below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. If you haven't yet gotten a copy of my book, All Things Milk Tea, you will find the recipes there along with over 500 other recipes that are very delicious and are very easy to make. So check out the description box below for details on how to order. In the meantime, stay safe, take care. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.